Hi, got some more stuff to share with you today. <clears throat> so I did kind of a little um, list of things that I would like to get done, at least get started on this week, but not complete, okay? Okay, so I'm going to, I decided that I was going to make 10 hats, and I have the prints already picked out, and I showed you in the earlier video when I was in a car, the bottom weights, and I need to find out what that means for you, Lisa. I just know they call it that. I don't know what it means either. And um, those other prints that I had, I showed you in the car. Some fabrics I already had. I'm going to do that because I like the prints. I usually don't do a lot of hats and prints. I usually use solid colors. But I think prints are very popular right now, so I'm going to do a lot of prints. And, okay, so I'm going to do 10 hats, and I have the fabrics already pinned out. And today, I'm going to start cutting those pieces. I'm going to cut the brims out today and um, interface them today. I'm only putting the interfacing in the brim because I want that stiff. And I'm going to, like I said before, keep the um, top where you can be able to crunch it or make it tall or short. And then I'm going to make um, six wood bracelets and um, six wood bracelets and ten more wood earrings. Some mixed media earrings, 10 of those. Some hand-painted jewelry. I'll make five of those. Just, I mean, I really rarely totally stick to this, but um, I'll try. And I'm going to make six more new bags and then do the one that's for the order. And then I'm going to make 10 dresses and 10 blouses. And it'll probably be more than that. And then I'm also going to order some um, <clears throat> jewelry wholesale because... Sometimes I sell out of my jewelry and I, I don't have anything. And then another issue is that some customers think that, you know, my stuff is a little bit um, out there. But it's still weird because the jewelry that I order is really bold and loud too. So it's still me, but I don't have to make it. So I want to also share with you bow patterns i am really i think i talked to you about it before and i do remember i was supposed to be doing a, a pattern with you out of that book but i'm going to lay it to the side because the last three weeks remember i'm going to be doing clothes and stuff and i'm talking about some simple fast easy throw it on run out the house clothes but vogue patterns, which I'm so happy because remember I told you all they used to have is patterns in here but they have a little bit of everything in here now and um this this month's issue, which is February and March, um, they have some really interesting how-tos and stories and techniques that you might be interested in. And also, ladies that are watching this, if you're looking for if you're looking for a place to find mannequins, beads, or any kind of jewelry, I find that these trade magazines have reputable people that you can get them from. Like in the back. They'll have like different bead places, places to get your magazines, I mean your mannequins from. Also, Threads and So News is also a good um, source to get information from and sites to go um, shop on. So, um, I just kind of want to believe that if they're in these type magazines, that they're reputable people and you probably won't have any problems with them. Okay, um, one guy I've been following for the last two years, his name is... Shingo Sato, and I'm gonna spell that for you because you can find him online. And if you're interested, now it's really I think it's for advanced techniques. But if you can find him on YouTube, I'm sorry, and online, and you can take his classes if you want to travel. But his name is spelled. Get your drink pan out. I'll give you a moment. Okay, ready? It's um S H I N G O S S O T O. So, first name, S-H-I-N-G-O, last name, S-A-T-O. And um, he kind of calls this technique um, transformational reconstruction. I do reconstruction. He does too, but the way he does it is like, oh my gosh, awesome. But here's um, a couple of his pieces here. And it goes into um, a little bit of how it's done. And I think it's time consuming. Um, if I did one for someone, I'm definitely going to want about 300 bucks for it. Um, 
I just want, here is some pieces that his students did on this page. And you would have to get the magazine to, um, if you want to know any more detail about it. So it's Vogue Patterns, and it's, this is what's on the cover. And it's called Pattern Challenge, that's the one. Um, again, um, I was telling you, this is not in the Not So Bag, but throughout the book, they have places where you can um, order threads, take sewing classes, and some other things. Ooh, I see something really fun here, which I didn't even notice. Oh, no. What is this? It's called Art Accessory. I'm going to have to read this because it looks like something I would want to do. Um, here are some of her pieces. I don't know what's going on here because I haven't read it yet, but I'm going to take that with me to put in the sauna as I sit down and read on what the heck she's doing, but it looks fantastic. Okay, so yeah, you can't see this, so. And it also has some other articles in here you might be interested in, and I'm... Um, I thought some of these prints, you know, prints are very hot this year, guys. And are you guys going to be wa watching Fashion Star this Friday? Girl, you know I am. Hey, watch it so we can talk about it and see what we think about it. Somebody we can talk to. We can talk to each other. And, you know, the girl that won last year, I think she was awesome. I need to go find out what her name is. Her style is, like, awesome. I didn't think she was going to do anything after, um... That first couple of pieces she put out. But, yeah, she really did a great job with her collection. And if you don't know how to choose your correct size, here's a, um, it shows you how to measure your body. Shows you how to put ease into your clothes. And it's a measuring chart on here, too. And you have to take in consideration that a lot of these measuring charts do not take in consideration the African American woman's body. Because you know, we got the boot, the butt, the hips, and the boobs. Some of us do. Anyway, so yeah, so you might want to just learn how to take your own measurements, especially if you're doing this as a business and you have your own clients and you have to cater to those clients. Okay. This is my favorite nail color, nail color, period, period. I'm so loving this blue. Isn't it just like electric blue? Isn't it just so pretty? Like burgundy used to be my favorite color of all time. I gotta go find out where I can get some more of this. It's only in a little bottle too, but um, it's Sally Hansen's Extreme Wear. It lasts long. It stays on all day. I like it. And I believe that's it, guys. So, Xantha's going to disappear for a while, and she's going to get to work. Have a blessed day.